I opened up my schedule so you guys could see my somewhat all right switch front three shove. So I'm gonna do a trick trip on the switch front three shove and it's a really difficult trick. So what is it? Well, it's switch. I mean, when you're landing switch, your balance can be kind of off because you're not in your regular stance. So you have to learn switch front pops. Switch front pop. Let's do a few more. So with the switch front three shove, it's like an extra shove, so therefore more power in the scooping motion of this trick. Also with the switch front three shove, you can put your back foot in this pocket. It should be right here. Your front foot, I really don't know for this trick. Um, just know if you put them closer together, your feet, the board might spin faster or just it might not level out. It could be a weird trick. It's definitely weird. I remember trying this trick. I don't know what made me think of it. I was playing skate one. So I was like, switch front three shove, switch 270 front board to fakie on a rail. So when I did this trick, I was like, I don't really see people do this trick, so I'm gonna try it. And I started on my driveway, going into the grass and just scooping it out. And of course I did a lot of leisure flip tricks but you have to emphasize on the scooping motion. The front foot doesn't do anything. With these tricks, you really have to emphasize on the scooping because you might not do the full rotation and you might stomp it halfway and that's not good. So full rotation, 360 shove. Switch front three shove. It's all about staying center. I was watching this film the other night and it made me think about it. I'm trying to dig at rice with the fork. It's stale. I can't go through it. I have to stay center above the force in which it's coming from. So for the scoop, since I'm pushing it this way, there's a little bit of, you can kind of feel your posture, just want to lean back and stay over the board. So when you do it, it's, think of it more scoop and popping up so it does a full rotation and it stays in motion with you. It stays parallel with your shoulders. It's such a difficult trick to process because a lot of people are used to front side big spins and things of that nature. But with the switch front three shove, you have to stay center and you're in a different stance. So. You definitely have to be advanced in riding switch, your opposite stance, and staying above the board. When you get this trick down, you can take it downstairs, wherever it is you like to take it off or on. Um, and the thing with stairs, it's a little bit of a slower motion. So I'll try my best to demonstrate that. Ah. So it's really hot, three degree weather. And I just got this board, it was a hand-me-down because my last board broke. I've been skating stairs more. And the thing with the switch front three shove is I notice I tend to land with my feet close a lot. And that's towards the tail of the board, the back. And that's exactly what I did. I, I broke the back, so. Switch front three shoves. Make sure to have your foot in that pocket. It's kind of leaning center and leaning back in that that pocket to counteract the uh, 
the force and the balance. So you're kind of like leaning in this position. And when you do it, you have to lean back and stay center and put the front foot out, scoop it as far as you can. Front foot comes up and try to spread your feet out to land bolts. If not, you're gonna land on the board and you're just gonna snap your board. So put the switch front three shove. That's my experience with that. It's been a while since I've done the trick. I used to have these pretty dialed in, but, and it's super high. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite tricks with the switch front three shove. I hardly see it do, uh, done in videos, and I hardly see trick tips about it. So let me know what you, get, what you guys thought about this trick tip. Share, like, and subscribe. Comment below if you have any experience with this trick or if you want to see any other tricks. I'm Ivan Eskevius. You guys have a nice day. I'll meet you fall. Peace.